Welcome to the third part of this series on vintage uh, digital radios. So I've attached the keyloader to the MPA radio and using a special cable uh, on the UDC connector. The UDC connector is just it's, uh, like a general electric uh, uh, connector that has uh, different functions. And in this case, the key loader is uh, using some pins on the connector that uh, will tell uh, the key loader will uh, the, will tell the radio that it's uh, ready to uh, key load uh, to load keys inside of it. So what I would do, I would press the power button on the key loader, and then I would turn on the radio, and then the key radio comes up. The the, the radio comes up with the key load uh, displayed on. So that means the radio is ready to receive a key. Of course, I can load the uh, one key at a time. So what I would do, I would press the transmit button and then I would press number one key of bank one. And then I would press the EXE key here to load the key. And you see the result. It says good transfer. That means that the radio has been transferred correctly inside this radio. <clears throat> now I've uh, researched this many years ago and the key is actually not not uh, stored in the clear inside the radio. It's being uh, hashed in the uh, in the uh, ra in the not the RAM. In the I think it's one a little part of the EEPROM. I think, and it's uh, so. If you remove the battery of this radio for uh, maybe one or two minutes, it will lose its key. It's actually you can zeroize the the, the radio uh, just by uh, removing the um, the battery from it for a few minutes. Of course, you would be able to swap batteries if you need. If you're in a metal of a sting operation, you'd still be able to uh, swap uh, batteries, no problem. If you want to remove the keys that I've just loaded, you can have uh, the zero eyes function on this radio is by pressing the menu and the scan button together. So if I press this, you will see after one second I press, it will see that it ha it's going to go zero. Oh, maybe not, because I'm using the uh, key loader cable, of course. I would have to turn off the, uh, sorry about that, folks. I forgot that I had the key loader. But if I'm using this old, the, this other model of radios that I have here, if I press the menu and the this, you will see it is going to say key zero. So there we go. So uh, it's going to be part three. Uh, this is part three of the... Uh, of the vintage radio uh, series. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye bye.